In this video, we're going to show you how to change the rear brake discs and pads on a Golf Mark 7 GTI. Tools you'll need for the job, a breaker bar with an M14 spline bit, a 7mm Allen key with a ratchet, a hammer, a flat screwdriver, T30 Torx, a wire brush, some brake cleaner and copper grease. Right, so first of all, we need to release the electronic handbrake motor and wind that all the way back in so we can fit the new pads. And to do that, we've got VADCOM here. We've got the handbrake off um, and we've also got the ignition switched on. So in VADCOM, go to select control module. Then we go to ABS brakes. And when it's available, basic settings. Then you want to go down to end, uh, sorry, start lining change mode. That's to start the process. So start lining change mode, go. So here, there, the motor's winding back in. Then it's come up finished correctly. So done, go back. Close controller, go back. Now we can exit the program, we can turn the ignition off. And now we can do the work. And then after it's done, we can recalibrate the motors. So we've got the car up in the air and the wheels off. First of all, we want to undo this returning bolt here, the brake disc, it's a T30. So we want to move the caliper first and to do that we're going to set the spring off you just put a bit of pressure on it just get your screwdriver in and just edge that out it sort of curves around at the end so it will be quite tight Now to take the caliper off, the two bolts are these ones here, the, the smaller outer ones, the bigger ones in there for the carrier which we'll do later. So I'll pop these dust covers off, little caps there, one on the top and one on the bottom. And in there is a 7mm Allen key fitting. So if we do the bottom one first, so you get that in there with a 7mm Allen key bit. You can see it winding out there from the caliper and the inside that bolt runs through into there. When you get to a certain point, you should be able to just push that across and out of the way so the threads are clear. And then do the same on the top. The top's a little bit more tricky because you've got the, the brake pipe in the way. So what we'll do with this one, we'll get the 7mm bit in we'll use a spanner just to loosen it off again the thread will push across when it's clear and now we can remove the caliper so it's just slotted on and it pulls straight away towards you towards the front of the car if it's a bit stuck just use a flat screwdriver just to get it going. Sometimes it'll bring the pads with it, sometimes they'll stay in the carrier, it doesn't matter, we've got to change them anyway. To get that clear, then you can just swing it out of the way. Just hook it over the trailing arm. It's 
So now we want to take the carrier off, and that's these two spline bolts there. Um, so they are a M14 spline. They are quite confined space to get to, and they're usually quite tight, especially if they've not been off before. So we'll do the top one first. With these as well, always make sure that you give it, give it a good tap in and make sure it's properly seated. You don't want to strip it. It's a nightmare to get off otherwise. So on this one, we're using a bar, quite a long bar. tight even with a bar that so you might need to get the car well off the floor so you can get a good leverage on it with a decent size bar once they go once you've done give it a turn they're really loose then and they'll come off and a similar story with the bottom one this one's a bit lower so it's, you can use an extension to get to it so, again, give it a good tap make sure it's in and this time Use an extension bar. That's it, now they're quite loose. When you're undoing the last bolt, just support the brake carrier with one hand so it doesn't fall. And that's it removed. Now we can remove the disc. We put a wheel bolt in, stop it just dropping off. And then where there's a gap in the dust shield behind, just give it a tap there. Gone. Take the wheel bolt out. Then remove the disc. So now we're going to fit the disc. First of all, just going to clean this surface up with a wire brush, make sure there's no debris or anything on it that's going to get trapped between the disc. And just give it a quick clean up, some brake cleaner. Now ready to fit the disc. So the same again with the disc. Just give it a clean up on the back. Sometimes it comes with like a waxy coating on them. And also make sure there's no, no dirt or grit on the inside surface where it meets the hub. line up the disc retaining hole and the hole with the one in the disc and refit the T30 that we took out before just tighten that up by hand and then give the thumb to the disc a clean as well Before we refit the carrier, you just want to clean up the surfaces where the pads sit. So in there, so just using a screwdriver, just get rid of the build up out of there, and on the other side, and then also in the groove as well. Once 
once you've removed most of it and just clean it up with a wire brush. Do the same on both sides. So now back to the car, we're going to put the carrier back in where it came off. Line up the top and bottom bolt holes. Get them in both hand tight. And then using the M14 spline. Just tighten them up. So now we're going to push the piston back in and um, we're using a G-clamp here although you can use a caliper rewind tool if you want. The piston on the back can just go straight in, it doesn't need to twist or turn or anything. So we're using a G-clamp but we've got one end of the G-clamp on the bolt on the back. It's important if you're doing it this way you don't put it on the plastic on the motor on the back because you might crack it. So when that's on just slowly turn it. See the piston going back in. And when it's flush with the dust cover around the side, you know it's all the way back in. That's it. So now we're going to fit the pads. We've put a bit of copper grease around those pegs on the end where it sits into the carrier. And the one, the pad with the spring clip on it goes on the inside. And the pad without the spring clip goes on the outside. They just slot in and sit in them holes to be ready to fit the caliper. Now get the caliper, swing it over, put it straight on. Then refit the bolts that you took out. There's a seven mil Allen key. Once both those are tight, refit the spring clip. So now everything's tight, just give everything a once over, check everything's there, everything's in place and properly located. Uh, on the back of the screws for the caliper, put the dust covers back on. Now I can refit the wheel and get back in the car. So now we're back in the car. Put the ignition on, you can see there there's an electric parking brake fault, that's because it's still in the service mode. So we come back onto VAGCOM. There you go. Back into the module that we went into before. Which is ABS brakes. Back into basic settings. And on the drop down it's end lining change mode. And then go. So here the motors going on off a few times until it says finish correctly. Done. Go back. 
close control it back and you can exit VAGCOM. Uh, when you start the car up, just give the pedals, oh, I forgot to mention, give the pedals a few pumps uh, before you do this, just to get the hydraulics reset, and then the electronic parking brake will do the rest when you do that function on VAGCOM. Uh, just cycle the handbrake manually on and off via the button in the car before you drive. Check there's no faults on the dash, and then you're good to go.